football hasn't always been like the, the number one thing in my life. So my mom did a good job of keeping my, my brother and me like around other things. Like I mean, we used to take art classes and my grandma I remember, used to make me stay in the kitchen with her and I used to have to watch everything she did. My brother, my brother's probably been the best one at escaping that life path, but me, I think I enjoyed it so much that my grandma knew it, so she would just keep me around when she cooked. I think me and my brother actually went to go get something to eat or something like that, and I got the call while he was in the, in the car. So it was, it was, a, it was a fun moment. I think when the, the whole Titans thing began, I tried to go buy a shirt, or whatever, and I couldn't buy one back home. I had to go to Tennessee to buy one because it's a Falcon time. But now they're starting to sell like Titans gear back in a Georgia town. So. That's that's pretty cool saying you done changed like a whole culture of a town. I make sure to ask Jarrell and them all the time what's the places to go. Or Coach Williams and them do a good job of like showing us rookies in our room like what's what's the spots you need to check out. I like it because it's I say it all the time, it's it's like being in Chattanooga, but just on a bigger scale. It's crazy to see how deep and how like loved the fans are of the team. That's crazy. I ain't never seen nothing like that before. Even when we would go to like Alabama and play them, I didn't see that. So it's good to see how much love the city has for the team. Coach says our time, you're in a good place because this is an older locker room, like a bunch of good guys. So they do a good job of keeping us informed and just trying to like show us the ropes. I've enjoyed it because they don't have to help us or be as friendly as they are, but they've done a wonderful job turning it into your home when you get into the locker room.